Now, now, little lady, back in my day, a hipster wasn't such a bad thing to be called. <laughs> my name is Charlie, Charlie Parker, but you can call me Bird. Hey, Bird, I'm Mel, and apparently people call me hipster. Well, Mel, I was once a hipster, but now I'm homeless, just living off the grid. Back in my time, in the 40s and 50s, the first real hipster was a black jazz musician. <laughs> Those were the times. We just wanted to live free, not fight in wars, or work in the industrial world. Jazz was an unpredictable, liberating medium. In the 60s, the middle class white man wanted to be like us cool black fellows. Ahem, excuse me. I was a hipster in the 50s and 60s. I'm Norman. It was a time of radicalism and a time of the beatnik. We lived in cities, experimented with sex and drugs, and wrote philosophical opinions about the modern world. In the 70s, hipsters and women became hippies. When the Vietnam War ended, so did hip. Well, it came back in the 90s with a whole new meaning. Maybe you can tell us what it is today, Mel. Well, it's all really subjective, and I'm not exactly sure. I just know that. Everybody hates hipsters, but loves to dress like them. I don't get it. Me either. And every time I ask someone what a hipster is, they say... I met her in the thrift shop, bumping indie hip-hop, calculator wristwatch, shins t-shirt and flip-flop, queen of the hipster scene, straight out of Vice magazine. She came from Omaha to Williamsburg, she loved Karen O when she had her... What is a hipster? <laughs> They're my client. <laughs> you know? uh, no labels. <laughs> I wear a hat. A uh, hipster is somebody uh, who's too, just too hip, too cool for school, and they think they're cooler stop, than other people. Stop, stop. You're getting it all wrong. Those kids are the ones who give hipsters a bad name. Today there are hipsters, and then there are hipsters. Hip has evolved from jazz to all types of art. Someone who is truly hip today uses their creativity as a calling card for higher purpose. It's a lifestyle. Take the John Brothers Piano Company. These boys play their piano in the street for tips. Uh, we both met at um, UC Berkeley. I majored in math. I majored in English. Playing on the street is like a blessing. Being able to make a living doing that. This is the 1991 Jeep. Uh, Cherokee. Cherokee. Uh, it doesn't say on the back. Uh, we call it the Contender. This thing's pretty tough. Gets around a spinet piano, fits right in the back of our dolly. And uh, this is what we use to take the piano around to cities and down to LA. It's made us together. thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> it's made us thousands and thousands of dollars. We got it for like 300 bucks. Yeah, we're going to the Monterey Jazz Festival and we're in Big Sur and uh, Jack Kerouac's old cabin. The most common way to cut someone down is to call them hipster. Yeah, and, and it's hard to get anything done. It's hard to do anything, to display any kind of art or to display any kind of performance outside of the mainstream because it's, it's, it's a hipster. And this is all of our own original music. Mm -hmm. Now they're hipsters. I can't say I don't agree, but do all hipsters have to be musicians? Not at all, but they do use their own creative medium to express themselves. Like me, I'm a writer. Check out the Silver Lake Contemporary Ballet. They don't even have a dance studio, but they find a way to enrich the quality of life through dance and their community. Wow, they are mind-blowing hip. Mm -hmm. Speaking of creativity in the community, my friends DJ Neff and Paul Ramirez quit their 9-to-5 jobs a year ago to pursue their dream in creating an art cycling nonprofit. My name is DJ Neff, Paul Ramirez. Can Love is a graffiti recycling program. We recycle spray cans and we're dedicated to turning them into works of fine art. Yeah, I'm hip. Like, I don't have any problems saying it. Hopefully people don't mind that my jeans are always covered in paint and you know, my toenails are always covered in paint. I don't like when someone tries to put me in a box, but as long as it's a positive thing and not a negative, because I think hipster is 
in a sense, a negative connotation. Because what we're doing is bigger than, than our, us individually. The piece behind us is 300 cans that they're never going to be thrown, recycled, destroyed. You know, each can has its own unique fingerprint. We're, we're pushing a mantra, we're pushing a, a belief system more than we're pushing artwork. You know, because that belief system can carry us into other places that art can't. We have a goal of what we want to do, but our main goal is to keep doing what we're doing. I want the freedom to continue to do whatever it is that's in my heart, you know? I feel you, my hip brothers. That's the only way to live. It isn't so bad being hip. Maybe if more people knew the context and history of the word hip, they wouldn't be so quick to judge. Oh, look. It stopped raining. Ha <laughs>